Welcome to Annamalai University, Directorate of Distance Education, Management Wing, the course on Marketing Management, which is common to all the MBA program. Presentation by Dr. A. Selvarasu, Professor of Business Administration and Management Wing Head. There are resources provided with hyperlink in the slide by clicking into google drive you can look at the textbook likewise harvard business school tutorial is made available with a hyperlink and there's a beautiful song marketing mix song by lady gaga a popular singer the link also is provided for your reference. You can click on the link and enjoy the song. Likewise, we have also made a real marketing simulation game in our Department of Business Administration. And the recording is also given in the hyperlink. The link is available in the YouTube. You can enjoy. So the Harvard Business School simulation scale on data analytics simulation strategic decision making for a detergent powder liquid and pod is given here for your reference and how the company is able to play with the competitors in order to establish market and gain the market share by making maximized revenue and profit. So it's a beautiful game. Uh, you can enjoy the trial by becoming a co-teach by sending email to aselvarasu at gmail.com. As an educator, I am given the privilege to extend the co-teach facility. All the students can enjoy the trial. Or if you are happy with the simulation, you can also purchase the simulation game and play and gain experience. This is the link which is given for our simulation game conducted in our management department with 10 teams. We have given an investment of 30,000 rupees for all the teams. Each one of the team could have an investment of 3,000 rupees and they could uh, make designer foods for the university employees and general public and people used to hang around for three days and they could make a realization of sales and the profit about nine times of sales from their uh, investment and they could also make profit positively. You can enjoy the session uploaded in the YouTube. Now we'll commence the lesson on marketing. What is marketing? Marketing is meeting needs profitably. We have Google and IKEA. So Google is nothing but providing information to all the beneficiaries or public and specified customers. So they, by providing information, they have created a platform of media electronic platform they have made in the internet where the advertisers can come in and then they can uh, establish their advertising and uh, make it available for the benefit of the beneficiaries. Now the need of the customer is information. Information is made available but how do they make profit? Profit is made by allowing advertisement in the media. Similarly, IKEA is one of the pioneer in uh, furniture marketing and this brand is quite popular, Italian brand quite popular in uh, uh, providing furnitures, household furnitures and office furnitures and uh, they make it as per the requirement of the customers, they customize it and they make profit out of it. So anything to meet profitably with a customer, we call it as marketing. 
and the most prominent body of marketing is American Marketing Association which normally denoted as AMA American Marketing Association American Marketing Association defines marketing as the activity set of institution and process for creating communicating delivering and exchanging offerings that have value for customers client partners and society at large now let's take uh, what is creation of value so for example as i briefed you about the harvard business school simulation it's about detergent detergent powder in the form of liquid and in the form of parts now there are customers looking for liquid there are customers looking for pot there are customers looking for powder in certain countries pots are not allowed it's banned and therefore the company should make a create value for a specified customer if a customer is looking for liquid detergent he should go with a little little uh, pack of uh, liquid detergents now this liquid detergent is meant for a specified usage like for example in a washing machine it's better to use liquid uh, detergent than the powder because you have a lot of carrier material in the powder so customer who is looking for a specified value has to be created by the company and that formulation which is made available should be communicated to the respective customer group that we call it as communication and delivery is by way of distribution you make that product available delivered at the doorstep of the customers probably at the retail outlets and nowadays we have online selling and people get it delivered on their doorsteps and they provide value according to their requirements for example if liquid detergents are slightly costlier than powder detergents powder detergent is slightly costlier than pod so likewise the exchange of value for customer depends on their needs so and their values accordingly you can exchange the product with a specified offer so you are pricing and the formulation we call it as offerings and it could be with a customer initially and slowly the customer is repeating their purchase then they become very closer to the company and we call them as clients and they also move to the next stage of partners and again they all the whole society becomes uh, ready to exchange value with the company so in nutshell its creation of value and exchanging that value with the customers profitably and you cannot sell offer the value without profit so there should also be value creation and profit making so again i summarize marketing is the activity set of institutions and process for creating communicating delivering and exchanging offerings that have values for customers clients partners and society at large now the course teaching plan goes like this learning objectives will see in the initial phase and then we'll move on to the course outcome and then we'll move on to the uh, syllabus now we look into the first learning objective which is taking care of marketing concepts the learning objectives spread across concepts marketing environment consumer behavior consumer decision and marketing strategies now the first learning objective is to know and understand the marketing concepts what are the marketing concepts let's say the customer needs starts with the customer needs wants desire in three different uh, concepts are prevailing one is need which has no direction but wants has a direction and desire which has the ability to buy so 
need has no direction but wants has a direction and desire has the backed by the willingness to pay so, but all these things are similar what is the requirement of a customer and that is the first phase of the marketing concept likewise we go into the uh, segment how do we group the segments and how do we target the customers and how do we position their product all that is our concepts and uh, the channels of distribution and marketeers competitors in the market all of them are uh, in a part and parcel of the marketing concepts and uh, you can see the picture where the uh, fun component is displayed by the coca cola vending machine in singapore the beautiful campaign was about the customer who can hug the vending machine the uh, the uh, coca cola tin is delivered dropped after hugging the vending machine you will get the uh, coca cola can dropped in the delivery outlet so whenever the customer is uh, you know enjoying their fun with the vending machine they will get the product so the here the element of marketing concept is customers need is having fun and product it's not that product alone but fun is the component so it's a beautiful successful campaign run in singapore likewise we go into the second objective understanding marketing environment so the marketing environment broadly you can say micro environment and macro environment so the micro environment is within the company four piece of marketing normally we say how the product is made how pricing is done how the packaging is done how the physical distribution is done where it is offered and how it is being promoted all that is being part of done in internal environment or micro environment i would say the other one is about macro environment macro environment is about political environment legal environment economic environment technological environment social environment all these are uh, macro environment perspective of macro in nature now i just displayed the uh, a face with a digital mapping so this is a technological uh, environment which is ruling the uh, business today so the customers facial recognition and how they you know respond to the uh, display in the market outlet or super stores and how they reflect their feelings all that is being mapped and neuromarketing is done what is neuromarketing you read the facial expression of the customer and you make a decision accordingly whether the customer is feeling happy or not happy and are they surprised are they looking forward some uh, new assignments new offerings are they searching for new things all that is being uh, done in the technological aspect of marketing environment so we'll be dealing with marketing environment in and then third uh, learning objective is about consumer behavior consumer behavior is all about how the customer is being defined demographically how do we define it psychographically how do we define it behaviorally how do we define and all that is being done in uh, basis of market segmentation so we study consumer market from the perspective of demographics psychographics and behavioral aspect similarly we also study the business market wherein buyers sellers how do they behave in industrial market how do we segment them how the industrial market is being segmented how do we uh, group the industries now we normally say see the industries are uh, located in a place where uh, the uh, uh, spare part supplies and uh, disposables and raw materials and other servicing industry all these are uh, located in a single place so that the offerings are very well organized and uh, it is easy for the buyers industrial buyers to access it so likewise how do we uh, go into the uh, grouping of the industries and companies in a manner that could help the buyers and sellers in a easy way of exchange so that segmentation of uh, location wise how they are uh, grouped geographically how they are located and that these are the various basis by which industrial marketing can be grouped so that's being dealt in industrial
consumer behavior. And the, you can see the uh, classical example of consumer market where you can see on one side there's a staircase, on the other side there is an escalator. And normally you see people, you know, uh, go on to the new product like the escalator, more people are using the service rather than people, those who are health conscious, they are using the uh, steps. So that way you can observe the customers and offer accordingly. So that is the aspect of consumer behavior. Now we have come into the uh, next objective is about consumer decision. How consumer decisions are made? How do they make purchasing decisions? Now very factors influence their decisions. Here in the picture you would see a broader uh, perspective in consumer market is decisions are made by the family. It's not that single individual makes the decision. The whole family get together and uh, join hands in the process of making decisions. A grandparents, a grandfather, grandmother, pa father, mother, all the you know, four of them in a family talk to the children and they decide about a particular type of food as per their preference. However, they look into the uh, health aspect of the children and they go into the uh, best offering which a children can also enjoy and also it should also be a health conscious one. So how the consumer is making decision, for example food I have explained and I also displayed in the uh, slide but similarly you can have you know different people in different levels how the newborn baby foods and uh, products are uh, being purchased, who is taking decision and whether it's mother or it's the father or it's the uh, you know uh, cousins they say they make a decision on the uh, newborn baby's uh, product and similarly when the child goes to the you know, school preschool and school stage what are the books and how the education materials are purchased who's making decision and how the products are selected by the students at the preschool level and school level when they move to the adult level how do they uh, you know, hire uh, uh, educations uh, how do they make a choice which stream of uh, education they would like to go in and how their careers goals are being set who helps in setting their career goals all that is matter of you know decisions consumer decisions likewise you go in for marriage and how do you look forward your life partner and how do you look forward the venue where you can uh, conduct your uh, you know a marriage or wedding function all the decisions are being marriage uh, ma manned and likewise when you go in senior citizen and uh, you are older than above 60, how your health is being taken care and what type of food, how shelters are you living alone and how servants are made available to you, what are the you know, do-it-yourself kind of books, materials, goods that are made available to the senior people. So all these purchase decisions are being uh, put into the consumer decisions. And now we have the next objective as marketing strategy. Marketing strategy is there will be a leader, challenger, follower and an initial. So normally in a market four different players will be there and each you know, uh, stage of uh, status a leader will, leading the, will be leading the market. You can see here in the picture the car, luxury car and uh, which is being uh, you know, claimed themselves as number one uh, luxury car in the market. And you can see BMW displayed in the market as a luxury brand, leading brand, number one brand in the market. The company, they should come into the market and establish themselves and claim themselves as they are, they are the number one uh, leader in the market. Likewise, you go on to the next uh, challenger, you go have a, a competing brands and they competing brands come in and they display that we are not inferior to anyone. And likewise, you establish yourself as the challenger. And followers simply imitate the brand and you make products available to them and therefore there will be customer group they will buying you from you. Nisher group is a very small specialized product group where you can get the customers. Uh, you make a specific product, specialized product for which there will be customers. So all these marketing strategies will be dealt in, learnt in the, uh, this particular objective. And you have course outcome. So, so far so good, whatever we have learned as learning objective, we need to apply practically in the marketing field where you can see demonstrating marketing expertise or your marketing skills. You can see here, 
Dr. Rajkumar, who has uh, introduced the concept of uh, velvet sachet. Uh, today, you can see all the products are made available in the market. So here you can see the market has looking for a particular uh, product package formulation. And that's being offered. And people uh, in the market, competitors, all of them, they come together and offer to the customers. Sachet is one such uh, 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 important demonstrating skills that companies have uh, implemented in the present day market. Likewise, you can go on to the other uh, uh, outcome, how the purchasing decisions are made, how you can make, uh, facilitate the customer to make quickly the decisions, easily, how you can help the customer to decide about the product with ease. Now you can see the Barbie uh, dolls, which is a pioneering doll in uh, the market, uh, being displayed in an attractive fashion with the new trend. And um, you know, customer can easily uh, get into uh, purchase and decide about it. Next, you can see the pricing, assessing the pricing, whether the price that is fixed by the marketeer is acceptable to the customer. You can see here, refrigerator, giant refrigerator is offered and used by a mother who is very taller and carrying her kid. You can see it is convenient for the mother to utilize the refrigerator with ease. So accordingly you make the product and easy to access and accommodate as much products as possible and you can price now. So when you are taking care of their convenience, it is up to the marketer to fix the price so that they will accept it. So acceptance for the price can be assessed as an outcome. And then you can go on to the marketing plan and uh, you know, uh, evaluation of strategies and making a marketing plan. So evaluation of strategies, one such easiest strategy is make the comparative price features of mobile phone for an example, it is easy for the customer to choose which particular feature they are looking for. Is that feature is highly priced. They will get convinced if a particular feature is made available in the mobile phone and customer will be ready to purchase that product because that particular feature is available only in that particular model. So it is easy for the customer to evaluate the strategy and make purchase. And likewise, you have the last outcome as marketing plan. So you make uh, starting from the uh, vision, mission, goal and as per the requirement of the size of the market, segment of the market, how you can have to, how many segments you are going to attack the uh, market and uh, how you are going to make revenue and how you are going to reduce or control the cost, how you are going to make the profit. All that is being put in a paper as a marketing plan, planning, organizing. So the first tool for marketing is to make a marketing plan. So that marketing plan will specify in which direction the company should move, the in which direction the product should be made, and in which direction the product line arrangements can be made, and what could be the branding strategy, and how the competitors are challenging the brand, and that competitor analysis, price analysis, promotion mix, promotional budget, all that is being can be made in the marketing plan. Now we'll go into the Syllabus is the third learning component. In the first uh, syllabus is, you know, with the first unit, introduction to marketing concepts, tasks of marketing concepts, strategies of marketing, and marketing mix. We will go to uh, learn coffee beans, how it is being made, grown in the form, and how it is being made as a cold coffee or a hot coffee to the customers. So you can initially, you can see, uh, the coffee bean is grown in the farm and it is being harvested. When it is matured, it is harvested and it is packed. And that is purely based on the production concept, we say. As much as you produce and if you make higher the output, you get a minimum uh, price so that the customer will be ready to buy. So that is the production concept of making coffee beans grown in the farm. And the same coffee bean, once it is harvested, it is made available to the co-produce where you can give it on auction. You trade it in the auction format and that is being packed and offered in the co-produce. And where you have a system to
to take care of the product and then in the next stage it is you uh, dry it and clean it and uh, group it according to the quality and you pack it and make it uh, for ready for the shipment now the moment you classify the output in quality and you the moment you pack it in a different specified formats and quantity it's become product concept so the product concept is all about quality so you the moment what is grown in the coffee bean farm when you grade it according to the size and quality then it is called a product concept so the moment you grade it and qualify it you will get a maximum price for it there will be a price differential for it so that takes care of product concept and then you go into the selling concept where traders are available in the market so different different levels of traders are available in the export market you have an importer in another country you send it from your country in another country the trader will receive it and they'll clear and uh, forward it to the stockist and from there they will take it for the uh, local trade and that will be selling concept of trading the coffee beans and then you take this uh, coffee from the trader it is being processed again or it is ready for uh, milling and it is made available to for uh, the pack grinded and packed in the uh, customers ready packs and that's called retailing and that retailing takes care of marketing marketing when you say marketing four piece of marketing product price place promotion and that you distribute your product so that the customer will be able to buy from their place and finally you have a coffee customers where you have cold coffee coffee uh, cafes are available and you go into the coffee bar and you sit there and enjoy the atmosphere but the coffee is offered in a cold format so there you enjoy the, the coffee which is offered in cold format can be priced at the higher range because you are not only offering the coffee but also you are offering the ambience atmosphere and place to hang out so that way you go into the holistic aspect of marketing now you can see from the production concept we have moved to the holistic concept of marketing where you have internal marketing integrated marketing performance marketing and relationship marketing internal marketing is taking care of the people side of it internal employees and the people in the uh, external market or the uh, public place you take every people into account to market your products internal marketing integrated marketing is applying all the principles of marketing like starting from pro product price promotion and place mixing all these things and making use of a communication strategy integrated communication strategy to the customers and therefore you make your offerings made available to the customer that's integrated marketing and you have relationship marketing where with the help of the software the customer information is made available cif customer information is made available and that information can be analyzed with the help of various uh, statistical techniques and mathematical tools and techniques you assess the pattern of behavior of customers frequently visiting the shop and why they are not visiting the shop all that is being analyzed with the help of a software and that software will remind you when is the likely to uh, repeat the sale when the customer is likely to come back to your store and make a purchase that way you can assess the customer uh, making use of the relationship softwares or customer relationship CRM software as we call it relationship marketing is taken care by the CRM software including supply chain you have a supplier and buyer relationship in the industry side uh, supply chain software also helps in the uh, relationship marketing in the in terms of uh, industrial market similarly your custom consumer market you have CRM softwares that's taking care of the customers purchase behavior and reminding them and making as much uh, uh, sales as possible or in other words getting a new customer is slightly costlier than retaining the existing customer that retention of a customer is easy than getting a new customer so crm is aimed at maximizing the customer lifetime value till the last purchase how much money the company can realize how much value the customer can get it from the company so that way relationship marketing is important similarly you have performance marketing the performance marketing is purely on metrics so you analyze or you establish a target 
whether the target is met by the company or the employees marketing manager or a sales manager or executive and financially how they are maintaining their metrics all that is being studied and used as a tool to market sales revenue brand customer centricity customer equity ethics legal component social all that is being taken care in the holistic marketing of performance marketing and you have marketing mix as four piece of marketing where you have product price promotion and place as i told you there is a beautiful song by lady gaga on marketing mix song every day how the uh, customer is uh, being attracted and uh, by the marketer using all this mix initially it is being focused on product later service marketing piece are added they are people process and physical evidence people is nothing but you know employee and the people customer how the people are identified and used by the company and process is what is the mechanism by which the company is uh, making the service delivery to the customer and when you go to the bank bank co has become a core banking system today and all the services are offered through a delivery process if you want an atm card it's being delivered in a systematic process if you want a checkbook to be delivered it's being delivered in a process so that process is taking care of your service and similarly you have a physical evidence where you have a communication and your uniform of an employee dress code of an employee brochure and your invoice all that is being used as a physical evidence in service marketing the second unit is taking care of consumer as i told you consumer behavior segments how do we the classify the segments based on demographics psychographics and behavior you can see you know beauty cosmetics here beauty cosmetics if the product is uh, to be marketed it is for the a particular gender normally beauty is a symbol of the a particular women segment and therefore they use it so how do we group them age wise how women can be grouped or gender can be how men can be grouped and how their dress code and how you can the behavior of an individual based on different different aspects like geographic locationally people living in rural area how they can be grouped how people living in urban area how they can group all that is being grouped so you divide the say market into different different segments using geography location uh, demographics all that taking care of all these three things you mix it up all the character we call it as values and lifestyles vals vals 1 vals 2 values and lifestyle of a customer accordingly you make resources available and you make innovativeness of the customer you combine these two you will get a lifestyle groups and how these groups can be and how many groups are made available normally nine groups can be made available in the market segments and how many segments a company can target that is called targeting and how do we position your product to each one of the segment is positioning and next third unit is about product we normally study about product classification product life cycle new product development and branding so you could see all the three are made available in the uh, picture a symbol a product can be fruits can be sold as it is or a, it can be a natural you know juice can be sold in the market or a packed a juice can be sold like mango fruity or um, you know the gold spot drinks beverage drinks all that can be sold in the market and how the product life cycle how long the customer is willing to buy the bottled product or now you can see the trend coming back customers going for natural uh, product rather than packed processed products so all that product can be studied with the help of a product life cycle and also if there is a dead phase or the product is obsolete taken away from the market you can go in for a new product development that's called creating an idea what kind of problems can be removed and what kind of new features can be introduced to the product accordingly you can offer to the customers that's new product development for that you can't sell product as it is you have to go in for branding and rebranding so you have to give a name so which can uh, make the customer trust about all the quality and features of the product and therefore it's a sign symbol and you know it's a pattern that customer would like to recognize the trustworthiness of the product and rely the product and continue to purchase and the fourth unit is about physical distribution 
transportation and warehousing. So how do you go in for a pricing, cost plus pricing, markup pricing, uh, up, up, uh, markup and markdown, how do we do with the retailers, all that is uh, being done in pricing. Likewise, you also do it the distribution, how, whether uh, you distribute the product in a national wide or region wide or a location wide or in a local uh, distribution, how do you establish them? And that's being done in uh, the uh, fourth unit. Fifth unit takes care of promotion mix. Promotion mix is beautiful and uh, that is the core strength of uh, marketing where face to face selling is the first component of promotion mix where you deploy a sales force to sell the product and you go in for advertising. So advertising is the third party uh, assignment which is being unpaid form of promotion. You have to pay to someone and uh, they will make, create a new version of advertisements and uh, they take the message and attract the customer and uh, position your product in the minds of customers and that could be done in a better way. And similarly you have sales promotion. If the products are piling up, the inventory is uh, more and you need to uh, dilute the inventory and for that you need to go in for consumer promotion as well as trader promotion. Consumer can also be offered some benefits. Traders can also be given some rewards and incentives so that trader on one side will enjoy and consumer will on one side enjoy. So that way the customer purchase will go, increase. And so likewise you have publicity as the last component. <coughs> publicity is uh, purely done by the unpaid form of promotion, uh, media which is uh, making, uh, writing an article about your product, an article about your company and uh, making it available to the customers, communication. It's in available in the mass communication. So publicity is free and therefore publicity is more reliable than an advertising. So that way it could be done. Similarly, you can see direct marketing where company will not use any intermediaries. Directly they will reach the customers like online uh, marketing and uh, online selling. The customer will directly send the mails and brochures to the customer's doorstep and they will process it. All that is being dealt in fifth unit and sixth unit is about consumerism or Consumer Protection Act, COPRA, 1986. The Consumer Protection Act has come in and you have also the additional topics, government and marketing, how government has come in uh, place by stamping a market, BIS mark, Agmark mark, and these are the, some of the marks established by the government so that customer can trust the product and they will easily buy it. Any grievances can be sorted out by the Consumer Protection Act. And we have the uh, lessons listed out here. You can make a quick grasp of all the topics that we have discussed in the units. First 12 lessons and the other 12 lessons. And uh, looking forward to you. Uh, for the next uh, lesson on uh, marketing management. We'll uh, be taking up uh, the first six lessons in the next uh, uh, self-learning online tutorial. Thank you very much. Looking forward to your uh, feedback in the telegram at the rate prof underscore cells and also visit uh, at the rate AUDDE 100 for additional PowerPoint presentations and other resources. Looking forward to you. Thank you very much.